Hi kids, welcome and thank you for joining this episode of Hatfield's Children for God Online. Sometimes it's easy to lose the peace we have in our lives because of the chaos that is going on around us. Let's see how we can have God's peace in chaos. Hi guys, you won't believe the terrible morning I just had. I was stuck in traffic for two hours and I was late for work. And yesterday, I couldn't even stream my favorite movie online because I ran out of data. And the worst part is, I haven't seen my friend in like two months because we can't meet up and we can't even go to Bounce together because Bounce is closed and this is just causing me so much stress. And I heard recently that the petrol price is going up. So that means I will have to pay more to use my car and to travel around. Oh, that's just too much. Finzo, Finzo, what are you doing? Oh, hi Hannah. I'm blowing up a balloon. Can't you see? Um, but why? I didn't miss any birthday parties, did I? No, Hannah. I'm stressed. There's just so much chaos happening in my life and I need somewhere where I can release all of that pressure and I'm taking it out on the balloon. So, your balloon is your relief? Yes! The balloon helps me just to release all of this pressure. Is it working? I think so. Um, Finzo, how many balloons have you gone through? A few. Finzo, do you never learn? This is what happens when you keep putting pressure into a balloon. <gasps> Hannah, you blew up my balloon. I'll tell you what, I have a new balloon for you. And this one works way better. <sighs> Thank That's you, fun. Hannah. Now I can release all of that stress again on this balloon. <gasps> <clears throat> But Anna, this is not helping me. I think you're just not blowing hard enough. Try again. <sighs> no, Hannah, I'm unable to put all my pressure and stress into this balloon. It's not helping. That's the point. What do you mean? Well, if you give all your stress and pressure and worries to God, then you get peace. Meaning that you don't have to blow up a balloon to take all your stress away and that your life isn't filled with chaos and everything waiting to explode. Really? So I can stop blowing up balloons and take my stress to God? That's true. God promises that He will give us peace that surpasses all understanding. Even though our situations may be difficult and we don't understand what's going on, we can give it to God and He will give us peace in return. Wow, Hannah. Uh, but how? Well, let me tell you a story. In the Bible, there was a boy who was eight years old when he was crowned king. Eight years old and he became king? Yeah. That sounds too stressful. His name was King Jehoshaphat. Can you imagine at eight years old ruling a kingdom? That's pretty hectic. No, you have to make all of those big decisions and difficult decisions. But how did he manage? Well, let me read you a verse. In Psalm 29 verse 11, it says, May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. You see, God blessed him with peace and wisdom so that he was able to rule a kingdom. So you're saying that if God could give him peace in the difficult situation that he had, he can also give me peace? That's right. And in fact, boys and girls, in these times, it's quite difficult. Maybe you've lost someone you love. Maybe your parents are divorced. Or maybe you just simply can't see your friends because it's COVID. Well, in these times, God also promises you peace. Even though things around you may be chaotic and there's distractions and there's things that are pulling you away from God, if you just ask Him, He will give you peace. He will replace the chaos with peace. I think we should pray for them. What do you think? Definitely. Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that each child is in your hands. Thank you that you love them um, so much, Father God. I pray that you will just replace the stress and the fear with peace and your love and understanding. 
I pray that every day they will walk in your peace and experience your calm and, and your love, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Hannah. I promise not to release all of my stress and pressure on a balloon, but to trust God that he will be able to give me peace. That sounds like a very good idea. Thank you Funzo and Hannah for teaching us that God won't take his peace away, it stays with you. God wants to fill your heart with peace. To download the craft from this episode, children and parents visit Hatfield's Children for God Facebook page. And if you enjoyed this episode, remember to hit the like and subscribe and do not miss any new episodes. See you next time. Bye.